signaling deepening animosity with South Korea and the United States. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has pledged to increase the production of nuclear warheads exponentially and to build a more powerful intercontinental ballistic missile. Kim held a meeting of the ruling Workers' Party that came amid the cross-border tensions over last week's intrusion by North Korean drones into the South. According to the Korean Central News Agency, while highlighting the need to secure the overwhelming military power to defend its sovereignty, Kim said that Washington and Seoul are taking aims at his government, which raises his need to produce even more nuclear weapons. During the meeting, Kim accused Washington and Seoul of trying to isolate and stifle Pyongyang, with U.S. nuclear strike assets constantly deployed in South Korea, calling it unprecedented in human history. The North Korean leader also pledged that his state would launch its first military satellite and develop a new type of intercontinental ballistic missile, which could be used to deliver a warhead to the U.S. mainland. Korean Central News Agency reported that North Korea was testing a new 600mm super-large multi-rocket launcher capable of carrying nuclear weapons. The meeting came after North Korea fired a short-range ballistic missile off its east coast in a rare late-night New Year's Day weapons test on Saturday. The North also fired three short-range ballistic missiles. Now, a day after South Korea successfully tested a solid-fuel space launch vehicle, and the North Korean uh, launch was also followed by the incursion of five North Korean drones into South airspace earlier this week. Meanwhile, the Japanese government has filed a diplomatic protest against North Korea after it launched a ballistic missile. Japan's defense minister Hamada has said that North Korea's repeated missile launches have gravely raised tensions on the Korean peninsula. え、北朝鮮は昨年から立て続けにミサイル発射を繰り返し、え、朝鮮半島そして、え、地域の緊張を著しく高めています。北朝鮮による一連の行動は、我が国、地域及び国際社会の平和と安全を脅かすものでは断
Dr. North Korea fired a short-range ballistic missile off its east coast. This is a rare late-night New Year's Day weapons test. Do you see this action as an escalation? Certainly. I think any test whatsoever that is conducted by the North uh, would be interpreted uh, as escalatory because it's uh, you know, it, it is moving away from the status quo. The status quo position that has been set upon the North Korean regime by the international community is no tests whatsoever, no military activity. Uh, I mean, conventional military activity uh, would be within the sovereign purview of the North, but any kind of military activity that suggests nuclear-related uh, action is prohibited. And what we're seeing here is uh, a deviation or, or, or a transgression of that uh, of those um, um, expectations that have been imposed on the North uh, for, for, for no uh, tests whatsoever. So any test that is being conducted is, uh, technically speaking, uh, an escalatory move. Now, so I think what, what this simply means, uh, what we're reading from that, is that now, because the North uh, it remains stubbornly committed to uh, you know, uh, bringing its nuclear weapons program further afield, the, the regional community the Japanese government, the South Korean government, the the uh, current U.S. administration, uh, you know, has to take action. And so we're seeing a series of responses being developed as we speak that will try and curtail North Korea's uh, nuclear-related rela activities going forward. Right. We have seen some international reactions. What are the international reactions other than uh, Japan filing this uh, diplomatic protest? Well, I think it's going to be more of the same. Uh, meaning that uh, the international community writ large, or at least where, from where I uh, sit here in Singapore, which is part of Southeast Asia, and we have 10 Southeast Asian countries that uh, form the membership of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, this regional block of, of nations, uh, has for, uh, for the longest time stated its, its, its position uh, on the matter, meaning that uh, like the rest of the international community, we are against uh, North Korea's uh, nuclear weapons related activities uh, we continue to to state uh, our our our, our uh, protests if you will or our you know our our views against that in trying to pressure the north korean regime to stop what it's doing but clearly that hasn't done much uh, and north korea continues to persist so it's going to be uh, a rather interesting year to see how this uh, develops further Right, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for being with us and your expert analysis there. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.